Okay, cool. Yeah, so I'm, um, I've been big in, in trying to get uh, any marketer, a small business owner or uh, anyone part of a small business team, marketing team, to just look at their Google Analytics account for 30 minutes every month. And I've spoken a lot about this and blogged a lot about like what are the top four <coughs> things that you can look, look into and um, almost like trying to do a little fitness routine out of it. And so there's audience reports, acquisition reports, behavior reports, and conversion reports. And generally, you're going to want to go into one of those four areas uh, or all of those four areas and check a core set of things every month. Um, but Google Analytics is continuing to make it easier on people like us uh, who don't have a whole lot of time and are responsible for a whole lot in their, in their business to come in and check out the platform. So um, they added a feature called um, uh, AI, basically like analytics intelligence reports, uh, a while back. But now they've, um, they're starting to suggest things to search for up in the top in the middle bar here. So when you go to analytics.google.com, uh, you will see try searching for, and it'll give you every time that you refresh the page or every time after you make a search. In fact, you can even click into the search bar, see what the different um, recently browsed reports are that you have um, looked at, which for me is, is always a lot of different things, the recent searches. But then right in the middle here, you'll see insights. So say, what questions can I ask? Top search terms, time users spend on page, pages, why did users change? And so this is significant to me because like less than, you know, eight months ago, um, you would have to drill down into these reports on the left-hand side and you would have to try to figure out how to find all this stuff. Now you can basically just type in these phrases into the search bar here and it'll take you into you know the answer so if i go top search terms it's going to show me what my top keywords were here and you can see data driven design importance of google my business verification uh, it'll show you like your top 10 um, results and then you can click go to report and it'll take you to the entire report so this is a perfect way to spend 30 minutes every month. Now you don't even really have to know how to dig into this stuff. You can figure that out later. But in the meantime, uh, Google will give you things to search for. So let's try this a couple more times just to give you guys an idea. I'm just going to refresh now and it should give me another suggestion up here in the search bar. So let's see what happens. Try searching for this acquisition overview. So we could do that. Let's just do that. Now, if you use your common sense here, acquisition means how do you acquire your traffic? So this is the acquisition overview and it's showing you uh, your different top level channels, which I could dig into forever, but I'm gonna stay focused on this one feature. Let's just do one more of these here. Try searching users today. So we could do that. Um, keywords this month, top search terms, let's do users today. So number of users, 87 today, compare you. Now you get into like more uh, stuff that can actually help your business. So compare users this week versus last week. Show me a trend of users over the last 90 days. Let's look at that. Now they're showing you a trend. So here's what your trend line looks like and you can go to report or you can click ask a follow-up question. Why did users change? You don't really even have to think anymore, which is super awesome. Google Analytics is basically thinking for you. Your users increased by 149. That's comparing this week versus the previous week. That's great news for data-driven design. This is our Google Analytics. Well, why? Okay. Number one reason why we had a change in users was due to Google organic search. So more and more people are finding us on Google. Um, and we had people from social media, so referral networks, YouTube. So we had more people from YouTube, more people from organic search, and uh, that now I know, okay, well, our efforts on YouTube are working pretty well. People are finding data-driven design through YouTube, which is significant. And so I'm gonna continue to post YouTube videos as well as 
post hyperlinks to data driven dot design within the uh, description on our, on the YouTube videos. So this is the Google Analytics uh, intelligence feature. You just again go to analytics.google.com, then the search bar right here in the middle of the page, and you don't even have to do anything. It's going to give you suggestions and um, where it's the artificial intelligence, the AI part is uh, when you right when you start, it's going to suggest more things. And then based on your behavior, it'll suggest things that it thinks are relevant to you. So um, this is the Google Analytics feature that I wanted to show you guys in, uh, in today's session. And thanks for everybody who's watching uh, the live access session here. Hopefully it's been useful for you. And um, we really appreciate you being a member of the Data Driven Academy. More great content is going to come.